All right, guys, Andy Elliott in this video. I'm going to change it up a little bit, right? A lot of guys are asking me, hey, Andy, let me ask you a question, right? Like, I love sales. I love the influencing, persuading, speaking. What about talking to girls? This video, I'm going to give you some tips where if you don't have your perfect mate, if you're not married, if you're younger, you want to be able to pick up any chick you want. Watch this. Check this out. All right, guys, Andy Elliott. What I want to talk about in this little video won't be a long one, but it's going to be an important one, all right? So if you're a dude and you're wanting to know how to go pick up on hot chicks, the right chick for you, the one that you want in your life, one you want to go have some fun with, whatever, right? I want to tell you something, all right? So number one, until I was 18 years old, I was a massive introvert, right? I honestly was shy. I was a crazy kid, but I just honestly wasn't the person in the room to go say, hey, look at me. I was laying under the radar. I was raised kind of poor, so I didn't really believe in myself. Um, I want you to do me a favor. Write something down right now. Write down, alter your identity. This is super important, okay? I'm gonna tell you right now how to become somebody that literally could walk and pick up any chick, like any chick, okay? Number one, the way that you talk to people, okay? People can tell whether you believe in yourself or not just by the way that you just speak, by the way that you carry yourself, and also by your eye contact, okay? I need you to understand something. Do you have something special that I need? I'm not asking you to be, write this down, write down cockiness, arrogance, okay, and ego. You don't wanna have any of those things. Those are not what I'm talking about. About. Over to the left, write down confidence, okay? Can I ask you a question? Do you walk and talk like you're somebody? Or do you walk and talk like you want to become somebody? Because see, if I walk up to any chick and I'm like somebody trying to become somebody, they don't want to have nothing to do with you, okay? But if you walk up to somebody and you are somebody, right? And when you're talking to them, you're like, dude, like, yeah, absolutely. No, we're killing it. We're crushing it. We're destroying it, going to new levels. Energy's there. The fire's there. When you're going to meet them and you're absolutely interested in who they are, but also you're doing some big shit in your life, like, hey, your life would be better with someone like me than on your own. And I'm bringing energy to the table, which is called like infectious magnetic energy, where anytime I go say hi to someone, hey, do people want to have fun? Do, do chicks want to go have fun? Or do they want to go be with like dead Bob and somebody born? They want to go be with somebody who's fun. Are you fun? Dude, the only way that you can show someone when you go to meet them that you would have fun with them is to be fun when you walk up. Like, I need you to understand this. If you want to go pick up on chicks, number one, you're going to have to increase your confidence through the roof. Now, this is what I did at 18 years old that allowed me to not only make sales, but to get get what I want when it comes to women, okay? I need you to understand something, all right? They're, they're the same. They're the same, but you need to add a little bit more magic sprinkle dust over here with the girls, and I'm going to tell you what that is, okay? You ready? G-Y-M. It's called the gym, okay? Right now, what I would tell you is if you want to be able to pick up any girl, number one, do you think they want a good-looking guy or an ugly guy? A good-looking guy. Now, look at me, Okay, I'm a uh, freaking 44 years old. I'm lean. I've got a lot of muscle. I'm, I'm not the best looking guy in the world. God didn't bless me to be Brad Pitt. So guess what I had to do? I had to get in shape. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now. 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. So when I was younger, the first thing that I did when I got into sales, I wanted to close more deals and also wanted to have hot chicks. You know what I did? I hit the freaking gym. Okay, now listen to me. When you get in that gym, you beat that gym's ass. I need you to understand this. A lot of people going to the gym, they never change. Go in the gym and work out like hell. Go hard. Also, eat clean food. I need you to understand this. You don't want to carry body fat on you. Okay, do you think girls want you to take your shirt off? Yes, they do. If you take your shirt off and you don't look good, there's going to be that point where it's like you're not the guy that they always envision being with. So my goal is, is that we're going to do what? We're going to play the odds. You ready? What are the odds that if you believe in yourself and you're not afraid and you're not shy and you're not an introvert and you're a person that has a good attitude, you have infectious energy, you believe in yourself, you act like you got bad going on in your life, you're interesting, and now you're in shape, you're taking care of yourself, what would the odds be that a chick would say, yeah, she'll go out with you or give you her number? Do they go through the roof like 20x? And also, can I ask you this question too? Do women want a man that can protect them? Do women want a man who's strong? Do women want a man who's an alpha? Yeah, dude, women don't want no weak ass who isn't going to lead them, okay? Like, I'm just being honest, right? Like, you don't have to be the macho dude, but you do need to be the alpha, okay? So when you go meet people, make sure that when you meet them, that people are like, dude, man, I want this person to be my friend. That's what guys are when they see other guys that are killers. Like, dude, I want to be that guy's friend too. I need that guy to be on my squad. Well, chicks are like, dude, why aren't I dating that guy? And by the way, you don't have to be the best looking guy in the room. I'm going to tell you, I've got a lot of buddies right now that they're very good at sales. They're very confident. They're good at influence, persuading, pain 
paint pictures, telling stories. They work out every day. They're in great shape and they can go pull any girl they want. A lot of them have the hottest chicks ever and they're not the best looking guys. So I need you to understand something. A superpower is believing in yourself. It is so important. And by the way, listen to me, don't be afraid of shit. Don't be afraid of nothing, okay? You, you got to understand, there's this there's this old saying that when we'd go into closed deals, uh, my boss would say, hey, don't be scared. What that meant is when you go in to present, the way you present something is the way they perceive it, right? So like, don't look scared, right? Like, is this a good deal or not? Whether it's a good deal or it's not a good deal, if you make it look like it's not a good deal, even if it was a good deal, they think it wasn't a bad deal because of the look on your face. So don't be scared. By the way, have a delusional belief. Write this down. Okay, I always say the saying in sales, everybody can buy, came to buy, and will buy as long as you do your job. Everybody can buy, came to buy, will buy as long as you do your job. What are the things that we need to do before we even go to shake somebody's hand to make sure that we do our job right? Number one, have a great attitude. Number two, have a delusional belief that they are going to do what we want them to do and it's already sold. Then we go shake their hand. So I'm thinking like, as you're going to talk to a girl, like number one, you've already envisioned getting her number and she's going to say yes. That's done. That's already handled. That's already happening. I'm already thinking past that. Okay. Number two, am I going to have the best attitude in the world? Can I ask you a question? If she has a boyfriend right now, is he as cool as you? I'm just asking, okay? I'm not telling you to take, go take someone's girl. I'm saying, is he as cool as you? Does he got a great attitude or is he a dud? Is he dead Bob? Does he take care of her? Is he having fun with her? Or is he asleep at the will and she's actually looking for something else? If she says, yeah, I've got a boyfriend every day, like Monday through Sunday, right? Or just a couple times a week, right? Okay, because most people, they've got a boyfriend, but not, not seven days a week, all right? So what day don't you have one, okay? There's got to be a way in which you bring charisma a charismatic attitude and coolness to the table where it's not serious. Like, that's what people want. It's not always the want for gain. Like, man, if I get with him, I could be better. They already got something right now, or maybe they don't. It's the fear of missing out. If you come up cool, charismatic, the, the, the funnest person in the room that looks like they'd have a lot of fun, they may be like, damn, man. Like, I don't want to miss out on that. So that's your deal. So I would tell you, if you guys want to go pick up girls, and I ain't never made a video on this, but I've had a lot of people DMing me. Dude, it's the sell. It's the same thing, except for, and I would tell you to tie the gym in in sales, but I tell you to tie the gym in also when you go talk to girls. Dude, think about it. If we were to ask and interview some girls right now, what do they want? Would I say, hey, do you want a fat guy or do you want a guy in shape? What do you think they'd say? Hey, do you want a guy who's boring or a guy who's fun? Hey, do you want a guy that believes in himself or a guy that's depressed? Do you want a guy that carries himself like he's the alpha and he's going to protect you and he's a bad? you know, awesome? Or do you want some little weenie? I didn't answer any of that. I'm just asking, what do you think they would say? So like envision in advance what that looks like. And I think that's how you can pick up every chick. So I hope this helps you guys. Also, listen, take the same thing that I said. And if you've got a girl and you know, this isn't about girls, Hey, that's how to close a deal. Okay. So I love you guys. I got your back for life. Anything that I know, I love sharing it with you guys. Stay savage. See you soon. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.